right, today we are going to show you, once you've got your design on your wood, how do you go about painting it so that it looks nice and it's not, it doesn't make you crazy, okay? You want something easy, simple, and fast, okay? I'm looking for a good brush. First of all, if you're painting leaves and things like that, it's good to have some small brushes, small round brushes you can get at any arts and crafts store. These are a little beat up when you first get them. They look a lot nicer. Um, so we're going to take, you want to, if you're going to do vine, today we're going to be painting vines and leaves and maybe some flowers if you have time. Okay, so you're going to take a dark green, like a forest green. These are acrylic paints. Acrylic works the best on wood. I've tried other things and I like acrylic the best. They come in all different kinds of brands. They have an amazing range of colors. Okay, so we have the dark green, the forest green, and we're going to put some of the, the lime green on it. First of all, we're going to go and we're going to we're going to do, let's do the leaves first. The leaves, actually, no, let's do the vines first. So we're going to talk, we're going to start on our swirl. We're going to start at one end, and we're just going to gently go through the swirl. I see that this paintbrush is a little bit big. I probably should have gotten a smaller one. Let me see if I have something a little bit smaller. Let's see, I have a ton of paintbrushes. Oh, this looks good. This looks much better. Okay. Okay. So, you like, you can put, depending on how much you like, if you like it to be lighter, put more light. But what it does is it gives some shadowing and light effects without having to go in and actually do the shadow and light effects. This is an easy way to quickly make it look a little bit more interesting. So, once you've got... Okay. Here, I did do that vine pretty fat, but oh well, you know what? I'm sure there are fat vines in nature also. So maybe let's make this one a little bit more fat too, so they don't look too out of, uh, out of sync. So you just keep going, and here, we'll start here. And don't be afraid... Oh, if it's on the lines, if it's perfect, you know what? You can always go back later and touch it up. Right now, we're just getting the, the basics down, and afterwards, we can always touch it up. Create fearlessly. Um, some of my best works that I've done have been things that started out as mistakes, and I had to figure out how to fix them. So that is my advice to you. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. It, it means that you're actually doing something in life that's worth doing um, so okay or trying something new the only people who never make mistakes are the people who don't try anything new okay so now we've got basically all of our little viney things and now you know what they're not perfect but that's okay we don't care we're not after perfection we are just after progress a little line here okay and then okay there we go okay now now our paintbrush pretty much now is pretty much covered with both of the paints so it's not going to give you a nice sharp contrast so we're going to wash it off when you're done with your paint brushes you always want to wash it in water when you're using acrylics and dry it before you do your next thing and I see that I need a little more lime paint. There, okay. Now, when you do a leaf, you see I've got a couple of leaves. You want to put half and half. Half the lime, half of the dark green. Approximately, right? And, oh, I, okay. So when you do, I'm going to show you on a piece of paper first. Okay. Let's say you have, I'll make it big. Let's say you have a leaf. Here's your leaf, right? Here's your leaf. So you want to start at the, the, the bottom of the leaf where the stem is. And you press, you put your paintbrush down, and you follow the outside line. And as you go towards the middle, you want to press down on your paintbrush so that it flattens out. Okay, let's show, I'll show you here. So you start here, and you, you start to press, and it flattens out this leaf. And then you go right to the point. Then you put some more paint on. 
Now, if the leaf was a little bit smaller or the paintbrush was a little bit bigger, it would cover the whole leaf. Okay, so if it doesn't, that's okay. Just go in and you can do a middle just like you just did. There. Now that gives us a hint of light and shadow without actually thinking, where's the light falling? And, and I don't know how to do that. It just gives that hint of, of color that everything's not, everything's not the same. So we're going to do that now on these leaves. So these leaves are a lot smaller. So you'll see you, with just a one, uh, one time, you don't even have to do the middles. So you just go, you push down as you're going down on the side and then you go on the other side there one leaf down and then do the next leaf and sometimes like that's a lot of green so you might want to that's a lot of the lime green so you might want to go over that just a little bit so it's not uh too much of one color okay and here we do the next one and don't forget there are stems on the leaves. So those stems, let's just connect them to the vines. Okay. Now, oh, I, I forgot this guy. Here is a little bit right here. Oh, here, this vine we forgot. Okay. So there's your basic, just your vine and leaf pattern. Now it looks kind of dull. Um, let's put some flowers on it. So what I want to do, let's, let's put some... Uh, places for flowers I want let's say I want a flower here and I want a flower here we'll just make them wherever we want and let's say where else do we want we want let's say we want a flower here and here okay and here we'll put a flower here too now we're just going to do some simple flowers okay it's the exact same way that you made the leaves, okay? So let's see, what colors do we want? Let's make the flowers purple. Now you always, well, you gotta shake your paints. Don't forget to shake your paints, otherwise you'll just get all that, that kind of clear liquid. So you always want, when you're doing this, this technique, you always need two paints, two colors of paints. One light, one dark. Okay, don't forget, wash and dry your brush, okay? Now, let's say we're going to start here. We're going to just make a, a little bud because we don't really have enough space here to make a whole flower. So we're going to put some purple and we're going to put some white on the paintbrush. And we're just going to make a couple of like little, just, just little, little strokes right to the end like it goes off the end okay then we're gonna let that sit and when we come back we're gonna we're gonna finish that off so now we've got purple and white and just like you made the leaves you're gonna start at the base of the stem and you're gonna make one petal two petals three petals sometimes you may need to get a little more paint four petals and five okay and there we have a cute little flower. We're going to go do that to the rest of them. So get the, 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 both the purple and the white. We're going to start at the base. You go around one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Where else did we have a flower? Let's put a flower here and here. Two more flowers. One, two three four five just a little strokes and then we got this last one one two three four five okay now we have two things missing on our bud it doesn't look so good because usually a bud has the green leaves coming around. So we're going to go back to our green and we are going to just streak in the green. So it looks like the leaves are coming up like that. There you go. And one other thing, flowers generally have like a little center or something. Often it's white or yellow. Let me see if I have a yellow here. We'll do a little bit of yellow in, in 
Where's my yellow? Okay, so we're not going to do yellow. We will do a little bit of gold. I have gold here. Hmm, where did my yellow go? Okay, there. Yeah. So I have metallic gold, and then I have a little round brush. We're going to take the white, and then we're going to put a little gold in it. And then we're just going to right in the middle. I got too much white and not enough gold. Okay. Then we are going to just kind of tap it gently. There, right in the middle. And we're going to tap it gently on each of the ones. Uh, there, there. You don't want to work it too much because you want a little bit of the two colors to be seen to give the impression that they have those little dots that are in the flowers. And there you go. I mean, you can do a much nicer one. This was just a very quick one. But there's the idea. Play around with the idea. You can do all kinds of flowers. There are great tutorials on how to make everything from roses to sunflowers but try it see if you like it let me know um, let me know if you've done this style of painting before down below and if there are any tips you'd like in the future my name is Yael Enkin and I'm a wood artist I have taught arts and crafts for over 18 years and I have cut drilled woven baskets uh, quilted felted you name it I've done it um, so just let me know what you want to hear about have a great day and be creative.